The New Jersey Attorney General is going after landlords who he says violated the law which prohibits landlords from screening the backgrounds of the tenants and denying those with pre previous criminal convictions the right to rent. I'm Tony and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting article for you today and it's coming out of New Jersey. Now, previously I did cover a video on this channel that went over this New Jersey law that will basically make it so landlords won't be able to screen their tenants for their criminal background, okay? It basically makes it so that a landlord, one of the strongest tools they use in tenant screening, they've taken it away. They've made it so, hey, you have to put these rapists, murderers, you know, thieves, etc., into your property because the government of New Jersey says that's what you have to do and hey landlords aren't having it they they uh, you know they're not doing it they're not complying and they're still going out about business like normal but the New Jersey Attorney General is now targeting those landlords who just want to keep their property you know keep the best tenants in their property possible and you know I, I think it's complete BS I think it's bad when the government oversteps you know and then they start you know going after landlords legitimate business owners who have a true interest in keeping out bad tenants okay so th this is this is a farce of a rule in the first place this law should have never passed but all of these feel good far left progressive you know politicians what they're doing is they're putting in these laws where oh well the, the criminal is now a victim he's a victim well, what about all the people who were traumatized, the actual victims, the people who were hurt by these bad people? You know, what about the people who this person could hurt going into the future? What about the landlords, the property owners who don't want their properties torn up, who don't want people with horrible criminal convictions in their properties, and you've taken away their only method of screening them out, okay? This is ridiculous, and you know, I, I, I can't stand this kind of stuff. And they're like, oh, well, you know, this is about racial equity, you know, because in their minds, all black people are criminals, and therefore they have to remove Remove the, the criminal background or black people won't be able to rent. Well, I find it personally insulting if you consider black people to be criminals and that you put this law in place for us. You know, you can go to hell with that crap, okay? Now, before I get into this article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, okay? Especially the people who are watching this video who are black, okay? Do you think that, you know, it, it, for racial equity purposes, the, you know, them putting a law in like this that, you know, uh, allows criminals to come in and landlords being able, unable to screen, do you think that is insulting? Do you think that is ridiculous do you think that that is going too far and that these people need to be thrown out of office because that's exactly what I think okay I think these people are full of garbage and they're only the only thing they're doing is ruining uh, 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 you know just places that have low crime they're ruining landlords businesses they're making things worse and as you could tell I'm very hot about this topic okay so this article is coming from the Gothamist and it says New Jersey starts enforcing new law to cut housing discrimination for formerly incarcerated yeah this, this is gonna have a lot of negative side effects okay and they don't even realize it yet every time you read a story about you know somebody who has this extensive criminal record who has committed this horrible crime like what happened on the subway in New York last week okay that is the direct cause of them not, you know, th th putting these people in prison for the time that they they really needed to be, you know, being light on crime. This is what happens with light on crime. You know, you end up in a world where the criminals, knowing they can get away with anything, are, you know, they're just terrorizing the rest of the population. But let's get into this article and see what it says. New Jersey officials are cracking down on landlords violating a new state law meant to stop discrimination against formerly incarcerated people looking for housing. The state attorney general's office sent seven cease and desist letters to housing providers who posted apartment ads that explicitly banned residents from, with convictions from applying. That practice is now prohibited 
under New Jersey's three-month-old law that limits when landlords can run background checks. So yeah, cease and desist letters from this attorney general, okay? And I call this kind of attorney general, this is an activist, okay? Far left-leaning activist who doesn't understand the practicalities of what landlords do in their businesses. Because if they did understand, they wouldn't even be wasting their time. They would realize this law is so flawed and so stupid that it just won't work. But let me keep going. We are committed to ensuring that every New Jersey resident has a fair chance to find safe and affordable housing, acting Attorney General Matt Platkin said in a statement. If you are violating the law, we will seek you out and we will hold you accountable. The law has been hailed by housing advocates as one of the most sweeping in the nation to eliminate automatic housing rejections for formerly incarcerated people. Supporters of the measure say it will begin to repair decades of housing inequities that disproportionately affect black and Latino residents. New Jersey has the worst racial prison disparity in the country. Black people are incarcerated. Yeah, you know what? The incarceration rates don't matter, so I'm not even going to finish that, right? Like I said, this has nothing to do with racial equity, okay? What this has to do with is making sure that we're not putting criminals into our buildings, the ones that we have a large investment in. And you know what? There are plenty of landlords out there who will, you know, knowingly rent to people who are formerly incarcerated. There's plenty of them out there. Are they, you know, will all of them? No because a lot of landlords are like me and they say, hey, these people are too much of a risk to my other tenants, to my property, you know, to my money to put into my property, okay? And so there's good reason to reject these kind of people coming straight out of prison. <laughs> and it just angers me that they use this, this, this racism argument. You know what? And then you know what I like to say too? Like, hey, don't forget that a lot of landlords are like me, you know, and they're black too. They're Latino as well. There are other ethnic groups, other ethnic minorities. And you know what? You're hurting them by forcing them to have to comply with this ridiculous law. But let me continue. Under New Jersey's Fair Chance in Housing Act, landlords now need to conditionally offer someone a unit before they can run a background check. They can still deny the prospective tenants if the crime was committed within a specific time frame or if they were convicted for a major crime such as murder or sexual assault. So yeah, oh, if it was committed within a time frame, like, hey, man, knowing that a person, you know, uh, 10 years ago was convicted of you know, uh, fraud, theft, etc. Hey, it doesn't matter that it was 10 years ago, okay? Do I want a fraudster or a thief living in my property who's supposed to be paying me every month? I mean, how do I trust the money that, you know, they're giving me? How do I trust the, if they're, you know, writing me a check? How do I know that they're not just gonna start scamming me immediately? Well, guess what? That's a filter to make sure that they can't be in my property in the first place. Okay, so yeah, that, that, this is insane. Insanity right here. More serious offenses such as carjacking can be considered within a six-year window. Offenses considered less serious such as assaults can be considered for one year after a person is released from prison. To deny an applicant under these restrictions, a landlord must fill out a form explaining the rejection and offer a chance for appeal. Arrest that didn't lead to a conviction can't be a reason for denial. Yeah, what, what a joke. Arrest that didn't lead to conviction. So if I look under a person's criminal history after I screen them and they have uh, 20 arrests for you know, drugs, DUI, etc., right? and no convictions because they failed to appear at court for 20 different times. Well, I, I can't even consider that. You know, they, they, I mean, those charges are still pending, right? What a joke, okay? They have taken landlords' basic property rights away. And then when they say, oh, well, you know, less serious offenses like assault. So this person likes to assault people, so I only can reject them for up to a year. What? What, what kind of morons put this stuff into place? If this person is assaultive, if this person has assault convictions and now we can't look at that, that is a violent crime. Assault is a violent crime. Do they not understand how crime works? You know, oh, I, I punched somebody in the face, but you know what? A year later, you can't even look at that. No, you know what? 
landlords are going to have to increase their screening criteria in other ways or just completely ignore the law and go around it anyway you know pay the little fines or whatever because simply put this is not workable this isn't workable you know they can't expect landlords to follow these rules when they're not workable <laughs> okay and you know as for these landlords that they see they sent these uh, cease and desist letters to here is my suggestion for landlords going into the future do not put in the advertisement for your units that you are going to reject you know anybody based on their criminal history that is what they got you on you know that you had it in your ad now you might still do that right you know that's not that's not up to me you know i i say you know follow the law but for the landlords who decide to still reject people based on their criminal history in spite of this new jersey law well, don't advertise that you're doing it, okay? That's the, what the smart thing would be to do.